Hi everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today's topic is nanoparticle crossing of blood-brain barrier. Do you know that, brain diseases and neurological disorders are leading burdens in the healthcare systems? According to the World Health Organization, brain diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, stroke, and other dementias are most frequent cause of death worldwide. The major limitations for the treatment of neurological disorders is the difficulty to deliver drugs to the brain. We know that, our brain is protected by two major barriers. One is blood-brain barrier. This is a dynamic barrier protecting the brain against invading organisms and unwanted substances. Though this section, I will try to explain about, some basics about blood-brain barrier, different strategies to deliver drugs to the brain and finally nanoparticles crossing of blood-brain barrier. So let's start. Blood-brain barrier. Basically, brain is surrounded by the blood-brain barrier. A selective barrier formed by the endothelial cells of the cerebral microvessels. This is the regulated interface between the peripheral circulation and the central nervous system. It prevents free exchange of substances between blood and the central nervous system. This also provides a defense against disease-causing pathogens and toxins. Look at the figure, this is the anatomy of blood-brain barrier. The brain endothelial cells are joined by tight junctions. This endothelial cells are surrounded firstly by, a discontinuous layer of pericytes and secondly by, the basal lamina adjacent to the astrocyte feet. So because of this extreme selectivity of barrier, the most drug molecules cannot pass through the blood-brain barrier. The brain diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, stroke, multiple sclerosis are presently poorly treated mostly due to the complexity of brain, difficulty associated with drug administration and development. Brain Delivery Routes There are different strategies for deliver drugs to brain. Which includes, local delivery. This is the direct delivery method. In this strategy, the drugs directly deliver to the brain via catheter or injection. Also, using any convention enhanced delivery system. One can deliver the drugs to the brain. Another one strategy is, by passing drugs through intranasal route. But this have certain limitations. Systemic pathway. This is the most popular and well-studied delivery route. Which increase the ability of drugs to cross the blood-brain barrier. Routes to cross brain barrier. There are different transport mechanism in transport drugs to brain barrier. Such as, paracellular pathway and passive transmembrane diffusion. Receptor-mediated mechanism Receptor-mediated transcytosis, RMT Cell-mediated transcytosis And adsorptive-mediated transcytosis Most molecules have to go through the transcellular pathway to cross the brain. Due to the tight junctions between the endothelial cells severely limit the paracellular pathway of hydrophilic molecules. Among them, Receptor-mediated transcytosis, is the better route for selective uptake of molecules. Nanoparticles crossing of blood-brain barrier Due to the physiochemical properties of nanoparticles, such as, reduced size, good biocompatible nature, prolonged blood circulation and non-toxicity make nanoparticles are the most promising alternative to deliver brain through the blood-brain barrier. Several types of nanoparticles have been used for crossing blood-brain barrier. Such as, lipid-based nanoparticles. Polymeric nanoparticles. Dendrimers. Inorganic nanoparticles. Nanoparticles with a size smaller than 100 nanometer have more chances to efficiently cross the brain barrier. By tuning the surface charge and surface chemistry one can improving the barrier crossing efficiency of the particles. Functionalization is necessary for crossing the barrier. But some reports shows that, even without functionalization, nanoparticles with size less than 10 nanometer entered into the brain. 
the reason is still unknown. So, many research is going on for understanding the exact mechanism. Thank you for watching this video, if you like this tutorial please share with your friends and family. Thank you.